Hey guys, what's happening? As you can see, I am shooting a quick video with all my stuff, video camera there, bag there. But anyways, I had to share this. So I was at a, a chef's luncheon a couple, I could say about a year ago. And uh, it was with part of Jose Andres' group in DC. We had done a little quick charity thing. And I thought it was a funny conversation we had. One of the chefs there was his daughter was there his daughter's probably eight or nine and she was eating all kinds of different foods at the table which i thought was awesome and he said he had an interesting conversation with his wife and he said to his wife um uh that he had given his daughter or his daughter was interested in eating some vegetarian indian food and the wife said uh well kids don't like indian food okay and the husband the chef said well they sure do in india which I thought was awesome. And it's kind of a small example of a bigger picture here. Your kids will eat what they're exposed to and, and, and they will eat a lot more than you think you realize. Please don't take the easy row out, your easy way out by, uh, you know, just automatically assuming A, that they want a kid's menu. Now we have a kid's menu. It's all good food and fresh food and made to order and all that. But most kids' menus are full of crap, pardon my French. They're frozen things that people, restaurants need to serve because they feel like that's what they just have to have a kid's menu. So they put a, a crappy frozen burger on there and chicken tenders made from who knows what and that kind of thing. So try your kids, push a little bit, deal with some pushback, walk them through the process of here's dinner, not what do you want every single time. I was teaching a cooking class one time and the lady who was from I don't know, Sweden or somewhere in that region of the world, you know, had moved to America and was at a dinner or at a luncheon party with somebody or a kind of a gathering. And the mom was making the food for the kids and she couldn't understand why she was making all these different like selections and different options and different for each kid. Now, I'm not a parent and I'm not telling anybody what to do, but I'm just gently suggesting that maybe we need to resist a little bit the instant gratification and instant what do you want sweetie kind of question sometimes you make lunch you make dinner and this is what's being served and kids will have to adapt okay my opinion only take it for what it is but i want to challenge you to think about that the next time you have your kids at the table or your grandkids uh a how are we how are we involving with them at the table because to me it's a huge experience i can still and always will remember many dinners with my parents at their house around the table with adult guests uh, while they were drinking wine in a couple minutes uh, and enjoying dinner and learning about life through my parents friends understanding that there was more to life than what I currently knew and uh, I think I turned out pretty good not bad uh, I just want to encourage you to not give them a screen. Maybe even you tell them you can you put away the screens, right? We see it in the restaurant, and I'm not judging anybody, but I see it with adults, and I have my screens. I'm looking at one now. I've got one here. I've got an iPad within reach most times of the day. I get it. I'm a techie guy, right? Here's my gear, my sh camera gear, and all kinds of stuff here's a hard drive attached to my computer which you can't really see but there i'm a techie guy I get it but let me just challenge you to become less of one at the table i'm actually considering an interesting idea of having people put their phones away at the restaurant i'd be glad to get your feedback on it maybe something where you put it in the middle of the table and nobody touches it i want to encourage people to eat and get involved with each other at the table Life is short, and uh, you know we take pride in creating an environment where people can connect around food, and that's something I want to really um, push more as a message this year in 2019. I think food is an international language that we all can understand, and I think we need to take a little bit of extra time to enjoy it and to enjoy the moments with our family and our friends around the table. That's my theme. That's what I believe in, and I hope you enjoyed the message. We'll see you soon. Chef T here. Thank you so much, and we will see you next time at the restaurant.